Hey guys, FNAF fan 2001 here, and as you can see in front of you, there's a lot of uh, U2s. Uh, there is, in fact, two, four, six. There's currently nine U2s in front of you. So that's all we're doing today is we're going to be unboxing nine different U2s figures, and I don't know. I honestly have no clue where we're going to put them. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the box art is the same for the security breach. Yeah. So, I guess we're just going to go in order here. So, the first one we have here is Glamrock Freddy. Now, I'm pretty sure this is in frame. If it's not in frame, then I'm honestly not sure what to do. <laughs> Because this is a little cramped spot. Uh, oof. And the, the, this is kind of high for my... Uh, camera stand. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna kind of birth it here. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. So. Here's ready. Fear takes hold. The stage is set. Is there... nah. I'll probably display them like this, to be honest. Maybe. I don't know. Glamrock Freddy. Five Nights at Freddy's collection. So, as much as I said this might be the last one, I gotta get the other ones. I just have to. Because they, they're all numbered and stuff. So, it just feels wrong for me not to. So, at some point, I might... Oh, I'm gonna have to pay. Okay, hold on. That's so cool. Okay, I'm opening it here. Let me... Okay, so... The stage is set. Fear takes hold. Get it so you guys can see it. Insanity prevails. Uh, if you guys um, know what that is from, it is from the trailer. Oh, that's so cool. The box, I can't even show you guys the inside of the box because it's that. Okay, there's that. You can kind of see it. It's monitors. It is Vanny peeking out behind the monitors. It's that is so cool. And then of course we got Freddy here. I don't know why I was expecting him to be on a stand. He's not on a stand. That is so cool. I see. Funko, their pops, they, first off, they didn't release Funko Pops for, uh, Security Breach, which they kind of lucked out on, um, but U2's did, and it looks so freaking amazing, like, the stand, the back of him, the way he looks, he looks incredible, and along with all the other figures, they had the same eye color as what they do in the game. Um, maybe. I don't know about Chica. Chica's might be different. But, nonetheless, there may be some kind of like paint shipping or something. But, at this point, I don't really care. He looks so cool. He's designed in the U2 style, which I'm not even mad about. It looks, it kind of suits it, you know. So, and this one's going to be different since there's going to be so many. I'm going to leave them out of the box. I know, I know, wow. I just want to do something different. This is, I actually want to display these. Alrighty. 
But yeah, there's nothing much to say about that, about him. The colors are all accurate. Um, everything's accurate on him. The microphone. I mean, granted, it would have been cool if he was designed like this. But I mean, still, you can't, you cannot go wrong with that, with how he looks there. Also, if you guys have noticed, for whatever reason on Steam, their background for the game, it's, it has a nightmare, not a nightmare, ugh. It has a, um, what is it? What? Hold on, what is this thing? Authenticity code. I don't know why I showed that. I'm probably going to blur that out. If I can figure out how to blur it out. Uh, but yeah. Okay, what the... Okay, here's... What? Okay, you guys will see what I am seeing, but this is... You can stand right here. Glamrock Chica, number eight. I'm so confused on that, but sure. Alrighty, so we, here we have Glamrock Chica. We can get you out of here. You and me, together. What? I don't remember that being a part of the game. Forever. Forever. I don't know what this is really talking about. But I do like that it's in front of... Uh, Roxy's, uh, Roxy's place. And you can kind of see the group in there dancing. But, and the inside is the same as the other one. So you're not missing much there. But this is, this is a little weird. U2's stand. I'm not gonna lie, I like the stand. It looks really cool. And of course, Chica is my favorite. So she looks pretty gum amazing. I don't know what that is though. I don't know. Eh, probably just a spot on her arm. But she's so cute, she's so tiny. And she has teeth. Alrighty. <laughs> There's nothing to say much to say about her. The colors are the exact same. Um, there's some pretty amazing detail on here. Just the way that her what is it? Leg warm ups? Leg warmers? I I don't know. But like each stroke of like the paintbrush or whatever they used. That is amazing. I love the detail on these characters. Like, holy cow. And this is only the second one, so I'm pretty sure by the time we get to Ignited Freddy... Holy cow. Alrighty. And then, of course, we got to put the box back. We'll put them in order just to see, but by now Chica's is going there. Next is Montgomery Gator. I'm trying to open it without damaging anything. That's why if you see me off camera. Okay.
Alrighty, here it is. Montgomery Gator. And of course the box says... You bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then you will. Both of you. Let me guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's missing some words, but... Burn. Oh, no, 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 no. You bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then both of you... I can't even speak today. Ugh. You bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then you will, both of you, burn. That's what it says. Okay. And the back of it is the mouth to entering Gator Golf. I never really picked that one. I went through, um, I went through and got Chica's mouth. And, uh, yeah, I got her voice box. So I, I didn't really want to deal with Montgomery because I, I kind of feel bad for the dude. I don't know why. But the detail on him. Ooh. Got the spots. Even the back of them. You don't really get to see the back of them in any product ever. Like, for example, um, we're just going to throw a... Uh, yeah, we're just... It's not good at all, but yeah, there. this is... Uh, <laughs> it, oh my god, I... Putting these two together, I can see Funko did not really try. Oh my gosh. I mean, they... I can't even say they tried, because it's not even, like, the right head shape or anything. The glasses are the wrong color. Hey. Get this out of here. Just get it out of here. Get it out. Look at this. Look at the detail on his tail. All the different colored spots. It even has a, a gap in his mouth. You can make a little tiny Gregory or something. No, no, okay. Uh, but of course he's playing the guitar. Uh, there's not really any strings on here, so I can't... I don't know what he's playing. But, uh still it doesn't show his claws but then again oh well i was gonna say it doesn't show his claws but it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for whatever detail we have on him it looks absolutely amazing you have some spot spots on his arms because he is indeed a robot he is just jamming out enjoying life Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And none of you guys can say otherwise. It looks amazing. If you don't like U2s, I'm not going to blame you. I, at first I didn't like U2s, but then they came out with the FNAF one. I'm like, I could dig with it. And then I got them from the designs, from all the reviews I saw. I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And then I got them and I was like, oh my gosh, these are incredible. So, yeah. If you don't like them, then that's entirely up to you. That's your that's your opinion. I'm not going to take away your opinion for it. But yeah. Next one, we got Roxanne. Okay. Maybe if I can get it out. And I love that they all come with a protector as well. Like... You don't have to do that, but you do. And I thank you, you twos. I thank you for doing that. And I am not going to try to say this. I'm Because this is a female G... Yeah. So here is the Foxy Beauty Roxanne Wolf. 
I forgot, you know, it's not a fox, it's a wolf, so. A roo. Alrighty. They won't stop hurting you. None of them will stop hunting you. And then the inside says run. Uh, what you running from, Roxy? What you running from? Can't you, you, you don't want to run away from your past. That's that's a no. I mean, you can if you want. I'm not stopping you. Wait, what? I guess I've just never noticed, but she does have, like, I guess some earrings up at the top. And she looks incredible. That is... Holy cow. All the detail. I'm just giving everything to these. Look at it. Look at the detail on them. Like, this one has her fingernails, of course, because, you know, she's a wolf. Montgomery, I don't know why he doesn't have any, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to put any, I'm, I, I'm not going to blame it. It's magnificent. And this one is too. You got all her robot panel, uh, Robot panels. God, I can't speak today. That is really cool on her hand. Brings out even more that she's a robot. That is really cool. I am really digging these. Her hair. Oh, I wish I had a U2s. I want some green hair. Anyways. You got all the curls and stuff. The way that this is sculpted is absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's 3D printed or if it's hand sculpted and then 3D printed, but it is absolutely fantastic. And it's definitely one of the best Roxy sculptures we have to date. So I'm going to leave her right here. And yeah. Ah, stop. Okay. They're not in order yet, but at the end we'll put them all in order. Alright. Next we have Vanny. Now Vanny, she came in the collector's edition. And as to my knowledge, that is the only way you can get her. So I do think you twos for making it. Yeah. Um, sorry guys, we're just gonna we're gonna scooch down a little. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So yeah, you can only get it from Maximum Games, and by getting it from the uh, thing. So, are you ready? When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small. Pathetic. And what does it say on the inside of the box? But now, you are more. Um, yeah, she's a psychotic, psychotic, uh, kid-killing bunny. Yeah, there's nothing you can really do about that. She's just a psychotic, kid-killing bunny. Oof. But my god. Look at that. That looks incredible. Holy cow. So you can definitely tell that it's a person in a suit, and I love the effect they're going for. 
Although, you gotta... It begs the question. When she puts it on... How is she zipping it up and unzipping it? Is there somebody else, like, putting the suit on for her? Because, like... That is some questions. Because that's on, like, every single product. Even... Even, like, the statues and stuff. It's covered like that, and it's like... You know this is Vanessa. How is she putting the costume on by herself? Like, it's just a genuine question, because there's no zipper. So th does she have it underneath her uniform? Or no. But anyways, she does have a big head, but granted, she is wearing a mask. So... It's not bad sculpting. This might be one of my favorite ones. Everything's detailed. Everything is highly detailed with YouTube's, and I it still amazes me because I don't know what they're using. I don't know if it's 3D printing or sculpting it out of clay. I'll have to go into look. I'll have to go and look at that. But her eyes, it still has like the eyebrows, but they're the eyebrows and eyelashes. She's got the bow tie. Even like the wrinkles of the suit. Holy cow, this is amazing. I highly suggest you guys go pick this up. If you don't... Uh, the Collector's Edition. Pick up the Collector's Edition. Because not only do you get a bunch of good stuff with it, but you also get this amazing sculpted little statuette. And... I think that's it for the, uh, okay, what did I do with that box? Oh, okay. And it's, I, I really love it. That's one of my favorites. All right. Next we have, I'll do Golden Freddy. So this one. Is just a Golden Freddy. It's not Golden Freddy. It is a Golden Chrome Freddy. Which looks pretty dang cool if you ask me. So here's his box. He is number 13. He is Chrome. My name is Freddy, I'm the singer in the band, got a hat and a big bow tie. I'm a big brown bear, but don't be scared, I'm a real fun-loving guy. Just remember, friends are forever. So as far as I know, it seems to be the same box as regular Freddy, but it's just golden. And uh, it's number 13, which uh, I think... 13 is supposed to be a bad luck number or something. But I don't think so with Freddy. I think they were trying to go for something else. And then this is where fantasy meets fun. Oof. I can't get him out. All right. He feels different. Okay. I might have to get a cloth or something because I don't really want my fingerprints on him. But he is chrome. He is gold. Golden chromed. He looks amazing. And he feels... He feels different. I don't know why. But yeah, as you can tell, it's definitely a fingerprint collector something I did notice is right there there's like some uh, cracks but I do not mind it looks so cool I'm going to put this back in just so that it doesn't collect any more fingerprints because I'm going to have to get some kind of microfiber cloth and get those fingerprints off but 
We can still look at him in the package. So I definitely love how he, how he is. That is a really cool collection piece. It kind of it reminds me of the golden statue from um, Glamrock Freddy in the Pizza Plex. But yeah, that is really, really cool. And I love to have them in the collection. Uh, by the way, this is not sponsored by by YouTube's. I know this is like a little late in the game, but this is not sponsored by YouTube's. I just love making the videos for them just to show you guys that if you guys are missing out and you don't really want it, uh, that's up to you. But yeah. Uh, and then we have next we have candy now i'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna lie i have not played candy pop goes ignited freddy i have not played any of those games um do i want to yes of course because i want to know where these games come from came from but um as of right now i have not played them so if there's something on the box that you guys know that i don't or is a reference to then let me know but here is Fazbear Fanverse because every franchise needs a multiverse. That's, I guess, true, yeah. So that is the outside box of candy. Oof. It's gonna be fun getting all these back into their boxes. Okay. Now, I do have to say, I have seen videos of the games, so I kind of know a little bit about it. Like, Candy, he's number 10. Uh, let me fix this. There we go. Soon. The animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Yeah, uh... We're, of course, trying to f get them fixed. And there's candy again. So this is supposed to be, I guess... Oh, I probably should have done research before this video because I do not remember candies. I don't remember if FNAF has closed down because of the bites or whatever and this opened up or if this was open at the same time and Freddy's was doing better. I do not remember. But, of course, here is the box. So you got candy and ca candy. Uh, you got a little candy plush and another, I don't know, I guess candy plush. Uh, you got the office. Uh, okay, Carson, uh, editor Carson, throw in what this says in binary, because at the moment I do not know, and there's nothing on the other side. And if editor Carson did not get to it, then check in the comments below, because I will definitely have to. Alrighty, and here's candy. So I really love this one, and to be honest, I might get another one just so that I can make a Tony U2s. Cause Candy the Cat is very similar to Tony. It's just Tony does not have a hat and the tail is extremely different. But I love the I love the design of it. It's so simple yet it has detail. Which, that goes to say with all the U2s, they may be a little simple, but it's still got a heck of a lot of detail into it. Like, it looks like Candy the Cat. 
if you saw this, be like, oh, that's candy. Like, there's nothing else I can really say about it. It's Candy the Cat. <laughs> Alrighty, let me go right over there. Ah, it's getting crowded. <laughs> it's getting crowded. Alrighty. This goes with Pop Goes. Now, I do, I am going to get the Pop Goes Badger and Pop Goes Plush from GameStop. Just so that they can go with these. Um, but yeah. That looks absolutely terrifying because I can tell that it's Pop Goes, but it's very dark. Uh... And I can't wait. I guess this little section up here will be for my U2s. Because I don't see why not. Come on. Ah. Get out of the protector. Thank you. Pop goes. Current objective, open this box. And I love that it's an arcade. That I'm pretty sure that's what the game is, is it not? Uh, the box is a little damaged, but that's okay. I'm not, like, I'm not the type of collector where it's like, oh, this is damaged, I demand a full refund and for you to send me another one. Don't be that guy. There's no reason for it. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Black Rabbit not included. So even though I haven't played the games, I do know that Black Rabbit is a character in there because of uh Isn't is the Black Rabbit the one that you have to like build or something like that? Alright. Now let's take a look at the box. It looks like some type of whack-a-mole game. The floor looks like the flooring of it. Uh, that looks like a coin collecting thing. Uh, that looks like a arcade machine or an arcade cabinet. Uh, I don't know what that is supposed to be. They lied. They lied. Okay, so it says Black Rabbit not included, but I don't know if you can see it. This little thing right here. Let's zoom in. That is the Black Rabbit. I could, you can, you can't really tell because of the lights. But there. Hopefully, you can make out the ears. They have lied. So he is included, but not included. If you get, if you understand what I am saying, he is included on the artwork, but he is not included in the actual merchandising of Pop Goes. And I have to say, this looks absolutely incredible. Holy cow! It looks so so good it looks like the weasel himself pop goes and i did not know what a weasel's tail looked like until now but yeah this looks so good the like it's literally combining these two characters for me because tony is a white cat with a green hoodie and blue jeans and the green on him looks so, so cool. I love the bow tie. I love the top hat. I love the microphone. Everything about him is so cool. The skin, not the skin, the different tones of him. All the colors go together so, so incredibly well. He's got different, uh, he's got different colors on every part of them it looks so incredible 
Like, holy cow. He looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have him right here. And then the next character we have. All right, so let's try to get this. This is Ignited Freddy by, um, I forgot what the name is, but it's like, uh, it's a, it's not, it's not Ignited Freddy the game. It goes by a different game. I forgot what the game is actually called. Editor Carson, help me out here. Um, but yeah, so here is, it looks like there's something hiding down there. Oh, that's a ham. That's a ham. I guess that's supposed to be the player's hand. There's Ignited Freddy. And Chica. Oh, Chica, what happened to you? Hey, at least you got your pink eyes. Alrighty. Now. All of that fell. So here is Ignited Freddy. I am remade. No light can save you now. Oh, it's even got the crib. And I love how it has the hands on everything because it's a first person game. I have always been hiding in your shadow. I don't know if I can get that. There we go. Oof. Come on, get out. Alrighty. Now let's take a look in the box. Alright. We're gonna face you that way. Alrighty. So, it literally just looks like a room. With... Hands? There's hands all over the place. Okay, so yeah, it is just a room with hands. Alrighty, that's a hmm. I probably I'm probably when I play the game I'm probably probably gonna understand what that is. But right now Here is Ignited Freddy. And I have to say, by far, this is the coolest one out of all of them because of all of the different detail. I've got a little plastic on his booty, but that's fine. Like, the detail is insane on him. All the different cut up rugged parts. He's got wires hanging down. He's all, he's just all cut up, burnt, ignited. He's missing his hands, which that's okay. We still love him anyways. And his hat is all cut up. He is by far one of the coolest ones. Just because of how much effort and detail they actually put into him. That is really cool. That's really cool. Alrighty, and yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Let me try to have all of them posed up. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't think it's going to happen. I can try. I can try. Uh, oof, don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my gosh. No. 
because of the bases, I don't know how I can fit them all in here. Okay, there's Chica. Montgomery, just, you're going to have to stand on the bases. Okay. And then Glamrock Freddy, you'll have to do the same thing. And then, can I zoom out? Yeah. Alrighty. That's the best that I can do. There are all the characters. Uh, except for... Um, well, where did he go? I don't know where he went. The... He's literally gone. Ow! Okay, well, um, yep, he's gone. I guess he's back in the box. Okay, yeah, we can put him in the box right there. He looks... Okay, yeah, there we go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long video, but this may be the last u I'm not sure, because I'll have to pay for the other ones, and hopefully they don't sell out. But, yeah, if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.